Hello again, it's Mark O'Brien from Scalar, now part of Sentinel-1. I'd like to give you an update on the new UI. We are now pretty much at feature parity with the old UI, so we've enabled the new UI by default. You can still switch back to the old UI for the time being. However, we do plan to sunset the old UI in the coming months, so if you find yourself switching back to the old UI for some reason, we'd love to hear about that. Please let us know. In parallel with improving the breadth and performance of the new UI, we are continuing to add new features. Most notably, we now have autocomplete on both the search page as well as power queries. So as I type, the system suggests possible options, including fields that are based specifically on my dataset, as well as operators. Here it is on search. And when I flip over to power queries, it makes suggestions here as well. Our goal with this initial redesign was to give a more modern feel while retaining the familiar functionality. Under the hood, we've migrated from Angular to React and introduced other modern technologies like TypeScript and GraphQL. What this means is that we can deliver new features like autocomplete faster. Other changes we've made recently, facets selected in the search filter show in bold on the left. We've also moved the facet search field to the top. With the new UI redesign, we added the ability to click on a log line and bring out this drawer, which allows you to inspect the log lines in more detail. Previously, this required two clicks to bring up a modal dialog box, which you then had to dismiss. Now you can click between different log lines to compare them easily. You can also use the up and down arrows. Clicking on the selected log line puts the drawer away. You may also be aware we've made some updates to dashboards. We now support a number of new panel types, including pie charts, donut charts, as well as big number graphs. And we've also added Markdown for you to be able to put notes on your dashboard. Clicking on the plus allows you to create one of these new components. Simply enter a power query in the filter if you're creating a pie or a donut or a big number. And if you're creating Markdown, of course, just put in the text that you want to display. We have new YouTube videos and KB articles on these, and I'll add those in the description for this video. There's now a link from these panels back to search or power queries, which is really handy. We've also added a view all dashboards page. This shows you all the dashboards in the account, along with a list of panels on each dashboard. And it includes a search function, which is really handy once you reach critical mass with your dashboards. Under the user menu, you'll find the option to switch back to the old UI. We are planning to sunset the old UI in the coming months, so if there's a reason you still need to switch back to the old UI, please let us know. We've provided a learn more link, which takes you to release notes, as well as instructions on how to provide feedback. And don't forget our docs menu, which has a support link. This takes you to our help center, which is a great way to learn more and also gives you the opportunity to open a ticket, either to provide feedback or to ask for help from our support team. We hope you enjoy this new UI and all its features, and we look forward to hearing from you.